Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and today is the first ever in a series that is going to be about doing my makeup while I enjoy a delicious beer. Um, I haven't decided on a name for the series yet. Um, brews and brows, brews and schmooze, I don't know. Maybe come up with some ideas and you do the work for me, put it in the comments below. All right, so this is a new series that I've been wanting to do for a little while, and we'll get into all of that in a little bit. But basically, what it boils down to is I will be doing my makeup, enjoying a beer, and chatting with you guys. So let's start with the beer. Tonight, I will be enjoying the Killstone Brewing um, Chocolate Coffee Stout called Chalk Coffee. This is in collaboration with a local coffee shop, Atomic Coffee here in Fargo, and it's a local brewery. Stoked on that. All right, so this beer is a 5.9% ABV infused with cocoa and cold brew coffee. This beer has a dark malt profile and is a smooth, easy drinker. Chocolate and cold press from Atomic Beer and Coffee. What could go wrong? Um, maybe 10 o'clock at night's not the best time to drink this. I wonder if it says there's a caffeine content because I feel like I'm gonna be flying. That smells really good. <laughs> All right, smelling that beer just made me a little emotional. It's super roasty and super malty, um, and it really brought me back to a time that I've been really missing lately. All right, so let's get into the makeup. There's gonna be a few like first impression-y things. I went to Ulta today, um, used my coupon, and I've got a few things. So I picked up the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer thing. Um, primers typically don't work super great for me, so I've heard such really good things about this, and it was only $8 plus a coupon, so cheaper, um, that I really wanted to give this one a try because I'm not liking the texture that I'm feeling on my face lately, and I know everyone's face has texture. That's just how it is, but I would like to see less of it. I'm gonna do a little of this action. I'm not exactly sure if that's right. So it says to apply a small amount to the skin and then let it dry for 30 seconds, but like, what's a small amount? Like, I don't feel it on my skin, but I don't know if like, it's too much. Well, we're just gonna see what happens. All right, let's let that sink in for 30, aw, I just stuck the cap in it and dented it. But let's let that sink in for 30 seconds. I'm gonna taste this beer. Now let's see. Mmm, that's delicious. Mmm, really nice and roasty. Nice coffee forward. Like the roast of the malt and the roast of the coffee are working together really well. It's not too acidic, which can happen with some coffee beers. And that like little bit of cocoa from the chocolate is also very delicious. Is it chocolate or is it chocolate malt? It doesn't say. It says infused with cocoa and cold brew, so there must be actual chocolate in the beer. No matter that, it tastes very good. Okay, so this I can already feel has maybe smoothed me out a little bit. It feels very nice, it's very light, but I do feel smoother. So I'm gonna stop touching it. It's been long enough according to the packaging, so let's try some foundation. And this is also new to me. I saw this also at Alto when I was there. Um, and it had huge giant signs that said new, new, new. Um, so I wanted to try it. It is the Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation from NYX. This is in the shade Vanilla, which is one of the four lightest shades. So that's like on my hand, it's this shade here. This was like two levels up and this was three levels up. So I would say, um, don't go by the name if you're looking at this because usually I would go for like a beige or a buff beige and this shade here is their buff beige and it doesn't look so bad on camera but it's many shades darker than my actual skin. And I think, and oh here was another thing. So when I was in Ulta looking at this foundation, they had it like next to these like massive LED lights, which looked cool on the display, but it was so hard to tell what the colors were. But considering that, 
I think this is a pretty decent match. And it is definitely like a light to medium coverage, which is good. I just wanted something to kind of even me out a little bit. I've just been very red lately and I know it's because of the weather. I know it's because it's winter and everything's terrible and dry and ugh. But anyway, what are we doing here drinking beer on a Sunday night? I have been thinking so much lately about my time in the beer industry and I really, really miss it. Now, like, I know I've talked in previous episodes, episodes, apparently I'm on a TV show, <laughs> previous videos on my channel. Um, about how I don't drink too much anymore just because with my anxiety it just doesn't work for my current life um, but I do still like to have like a drink every now and then just like you know I still really love beer like that was a thing so let's travel back in time all right so the shade might be a little bit too light but I do recall that when I had it on my hand it oxidized down quite a bit so we're just gonna wait a few minutes and see so let's go back in time to a few years ago like God, seven, seven years ago, um, I was working at a graphic design and marketing agency and going to school and living with Mike in San Diego. Um, so I was also in the, sorry, I can't like talk very well and do two things at once. Um, but also when I lived in San Diego, I lived it like right in the middle of the like trendy ass neighborhood that um, when I moved in, it was a bad neighborhood. I moved there because rent was very cheap. Um, but of course, as happens in most major cities, gentrification, the hipsters move in and then following that comes the craft beer movement. Let's go back in time to a few years ago. Like, God, seven, seven years ago, um, I was working at a graphic design and marketing agency and going to school and living with Mike in San Diego. Um, so I was also in the Sorry, I can't like talk very well and do two things at once. Um, but also when I lived in San Diego, I lived it like right in the middle of the like trendy ass neighborhood that um, when I moved in, it was a bad neighborhood. I moved there because rent was very cheap. Um, but of course, as happens in most major cities, gentrification, the hipsters move in and then following that comes the craft beer movement. Um, so before that all happened, there was one beer bar in my neighborhood that I absolutely loved. And I just, and of course I wanted to learn more about beer. So I started a blog. It was called She Likes Beer. And then through that, I did a lot of beer reviews, tried beer, like learned about all the different styles of beer, um, started brewing my own beer and loved the culture, loved just everything about it. Plus, I just really like beer. Um, so then that morphed into me going to this ad agency where I was working. It was great. Loved it there. Um, but eventually, I went to a local brewery. Um, it was a national brewery at the time, and I think they're still national. They pared down quite a bit. Um, but it was Green Flash. It was the name of the brewery, and I was their social media marketing specialist. Um, so I got to be smack dab in the middle of the industry and culture and you know group of people that I love making a product that I really love. I absolutely just loved my time there because of the people that I worked with and we just had a really good time in the marketing department. Just we all clicked very well. It was great. All right, tonight I'm gonna play a little bit more at the Tati Beauty palette. I did a review that I haven't edited yet. Um, it was not a glowing review. I'll link it up here whenever it's ready. Um, but I wanted to play around with this a little bit more and you know give it a third impression, or third, a second impression. Plus, I love these orange colors and I think it'll go pretty good with the shirt I'm wearing. So, medium story long. Um, lately, I have just been really missing that part of my life like enjoying beer enjoying the beer culture or beer community beer culture um which is a whole other thing 
So I thought it would be kind of fun to bring my two loves and hobbies together and do a series where on this channel every once in a while I'll enjoy a new beer and try out some makeup and just chat with you guys. Use a little bit of this and try to buff out the edges. This isn't blending as much as I would like it to and that was an issue I had the first time I tried it too. It just, I don't know, I don't know. It just doesn't blend how I want it to. So if you guys are into that, keep an eye out when I post these. I'll be, you know, I'm gonna be a lot like this. Chatting, makeup, enjoying a brew. And I wanna kinda deepen this orangey color just a little bit, so I'm gonna grab this brown mat and just kinda try to de-orange just a touch. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That looks good. But that's kind of a rundown of my life in the beer industry and my love for beer and what we're doing and i just kind of miss it i miss the community i guess next i'm going to use the sequin shade of aura it looks like it's that light kind of bone shade but it's also got like a pink to gold shift to it. It's very pretty. So we're going to see how this goes. So that's just kind of what I'm feeling. So I figured you guys are my community and um, we'll rock it this way. And holy smokes, this palette is so heavy. It makes my hand hurt when I try to hold it. So I'm just going to use the big mirror in front of me. Um, I'm not really noticing any of the sparkle or like twinkle, I guess we'll say, because it's not really sparkle. It's like a twinkle that's in this, these shadows. So basically it's like another row of matte shades, right? I mean, it's all in the pan and all over my palette, but it's not on my eyes. Let me try a finger and just see what happens. Uh, I guess I brought some of it, some of the twinkle. It's pretty. So you can't blend the sequin thing if you want any of the twinkle to show up for you. It's a pretty twinkle though. It's so fine. It's like fairy dust. I like that. It's good. The thing I really like about stouts is that as they come up to room temperature from being cold, the taste and the flavor profile changes. It gets a little bit more rich. Um, so that's what's happening here and I can really taste like the chocolate more. That's my story. Well, a little bit of part of my story. And I'm just kind of excited to bring this new, whatever I'm gonna call it. I have not even decided what I'm gonna call this series, but I'm just kind of excited to bring my two loves together and hope you guys like it. I mean, I hope you'll watch. If not, you can listen to me ramble, which is always fun. So if you guys have ideas for names of the series, share them with me. This palette is not good. The more I use it, let me try a different brush. Like, it doesn't blend. And I've tried it with a primer. I'm trying it now with just foundation on my lids. I've clearly tried three different brushes. It doesn't blend. What's happening in this world? This is turning into a skippy mess. Just... Well, I guess I'm just gonna do something with a metallic, probably the story one here, here, this one. Um, and we'll just put it somewhere in this look. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for eyes for now. Um, I see the batteries flashing on my camera, so I'm gonna charge that while I put on my lashes and some eyeliner, and we'll be back in a minute. Here we go. I am going to use the Cover FX Face Perfector palette that I got in a boxy charm, but I love this palette. Um, this is a really good shade for my skin. I was hanging out with my grandma in the nursing home because she is 88 years old, and she 
fell and cracked her pelvis is what she says but she broke her hip like old lady cliche she fell and broke her hip so <laughs> she's in the um, a nursing home so I was hanging out with her today and she it was so funny like we had a nice conversation as usual we always do um but she said she was listening to church because she can't see well so she like listens to church on um, the tv so she couldn't hear it um and she's like the pastor what did she say exactly the pastor told me or told me <laughs> the pastor said in the message today that we don't say i love you enough so we need to say it as often as we think about it um to you know, to the people that we have in our lives while they're still with us. And I was like, I know. I say I love you all the time to like everybody, <laughs> um, which was a long road. There was, and anyway, the point I'm making is it was funny coming from my grandma because we were not, and I love you saying family, like we love each other very, very much, very clearly, but being open with emotion was like not our bag so it was kind of funny to like hear my grandma be like listen we need to say i love you more because she was the queen of not saying it at all um showed it a lot but just didn't really say it too much um so she said i love you like four times today and it was the coolest most awesome thing so here is your daily reminder to tell the people that you love I love you more often from my grandma. Since this is kind of a peachy orangey look, I'm gonna use the Frisky Bid Bidness, the Frisky Bidness pa Pressed Powder Cheek from ColourPop. That's nice. I like this shade a lot. It's just nice. Right, for lippy i'm going to use this steve laurent gloss i think it's just a really pretty wait not this one this one makes me look like i have a mustache scratch that we are going to use the liquid cat suit in the shade satin sheets which is basically the color ryland that was in the jeffree star shane dawson lip series like exactly the same um but i bought it months ago for like four dollars My lips are so dry. <laughs> this looks really chunk a monk. It's a really pretty color, but my lips are so dry that it looks not good. And with that, I think I'm gonna call this good. I am gonna go and hang out with my husband, although I can hear him snoring on the couch. So I'm gonna wake him up and force him to compliment my makeup. And then we're gonna watch Saturday Night Live and go to bed. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. We are definitely going to do this again. I had a really fun time hanging out, chatting to you guys, and drinking a delicious beer. Um, if you have any beers you want to see me try um, that I can probably get somewhere in the middle of the country, let me know in the comments below. Questions, comments, concerns lay it all out there so that's gonna be it for me if you guys like this video please make sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button it really really helps my channel and i will love you forever all right my little love bugs have a great rest of your day night wherever you are right now i will talk to you in the next video bye 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 bye